Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again. Welcome back to the next episode of the Freebooters franchise here in year number four. Last episode, which was only a few minutes ago, since I'm recording this now, uh, we beat the Blowfish in a close 3-1 to one pitcher's duel thanks to some early offense, thanks to the first career three-run homer of Hesto Reliable, and a good pitching performance from our ace, Winnie Noel, secured the victory for us with some good relief pitching from Martinez. And today, we will be entering the final non-division matchup of the season here against the 4-5 and five Sawteeth. They will be sending left-hander Candy Sweet to the mound, 0-1 with a 4-2-6 ERA and a 1-2-6 whip. And we will be sending veteran Tusker Fuss to the hill, who's 1-1 with a 2-8-4 ERA and a 1-3 whip. Here's a look at the lineup for today's game. Woody will lead off at third, followed by a reliable shortstop. Pitts at DHing today. He is 10, which is why he's not in the field. Jennings will bat fourth at center field. Bayless bats 5th and right, Burnside bats 6th and left, Ho bats 7th and catcher, Haney McCoy, the rookie, will start at 1st base, he'll bat 8th, and Cole Salmon will bat ninth, the 2nd baseman. Let's jump into the action here and have some fun as it looks like another ninth game for us as we return home to Lafayette Corner for the first time in 5 games, as our last 4 games were on the road. It's going uh, to be a good matchup for us, hopefully. Pitching-wise, Fuss definitely has the edge on Sweet, so hopefully that works in our favor. We're going to need another win here to improve to 500 and stay in the race for the playoffs. As it looks like our conference is hovering around 500 once again, so if we can get to 500 here, we have a good shot of uh, finishing above 500 in our last six division games. Here we go. Trips, Stokes, and Painter do up first against Fuss. There's center fielder slash trips. He's playing left field today. He's on fire, hitting 324 with three homers and six RBIs. Let's take a quick peek at Fuss's numbers in more detail here. Fuss is 1-1, one one, as we know, with a 284 ERA and a 103 whip. He's given up four earned runs in his two starts, totaling 12 and two-thirds innings, which is almost six and a third innings a start, I believe it is, actually. 13 hits surrendered, one of them a homer. He's struck out nine, batting average against his 260 here on the year. Here's a look at the Sawteeth lineup. After trips, it is right fielder Bryson Stokes. Uh, then it is first baseman Valerie Painter in her second season. She's locked in. Then it's catcher Harmony Strauss, recently signed off the free agent pool. Then batting fifth is D.H. Sting McGee, the other catcher. Batting sixth is center fielder Super Sampson, signed from the Sandcats in the free agency. Batting seventh, second baseman Pepe Benicio. He was signed in free agency as well, overcoming from the Moonstars organization. Batting eighth is third baseman Ian Fielder. He's a Tense coming over from the Grapplers, and batting ninth also coming over from the Grapplers is uh, shortstop Eduardo Electro. Fuss is ready. Here we go. Easy ground up for Sam, and they're on the first batter. Here's Stokes hitting 087 with no homers, no RBIs on the season. Getting the start today for the injured right fielder. Um, Mike Michaela Compton, the rookie, she unfortunately got hurt earlier and is unable to play, so backup outfielder Stokes is in there. And he'll start it off with a nice base hit, first hit of the day for the Sawteeth. Brings up Painter, the first baseman, who's locked in, hitting 314. Four homers, seven RBIs on the season. Marty gets back on the pickoff attempt. Lines it in the right field. That's going to get over Salmon for a base hit. Two straight hits here with one down. Put saw teeth in business here for the four hitter. Catcher Harmony Strauss hitting 400. One homer, one RBI in the season. Diving stop by Reliable, flips the second one. Sam in the first, just late at the fielder's choice. Runners at the corners now with two down now for D.H. Sting McGee, the other catcher. He's hitting 310. One homer, five RBIs on the season. The 
Juicy Mirror up and away. McGee gets a good piece of it. Hits it deep to left center field. Burnside looks up. It's in the seats. It's a three-run homer for Sting McGee here early, and the Sawtee take a 3-0 lead. So I believe that's the second homer of the year for McGee. It is. DH comes in clutch with a nice two-out homer. And that'll bring up Sampson. Center fielder coming over from the Sandcats in free agency, hitting 259 on the year. Bust now tense. Hold it first. McCoy fields it cleanly, flips the fuss in time, and that ends the inning. But the Sawteeth get the three runs on the three run homer by McGee, and they take the early lead. Bottom one, Woody, Reliable, and Pitts do up. Here's Woody hitting 425 with two RBIs. Take the ball low, one and one. One and two, the count now. Here's a look at Sweet's numbers here on the season. Sweet has made two starts on the year for the Salty. She's 0-1 with a 4-2-6 ERA and a 1-2-6 whip. She's given up six and runs in those two starts, totaling 12 and two-thirds innings, which is equivalent to six and a third innings per start. 14 hits surrendered, two walks, nine strikeouts, and a 286 batting average against. Not bad. She's also kept the ball in the ballpark, having not given up a home run. The only person in the Salty rotation did not do so so far. Woody drives that deep to right field. He got a decent cut of it. But Stokes is going to make the catch at the wall. One down. Here's Reliable, the rookie shortstop. Scored our, all of our runs in the previous episode. He had a three-run homer, which was his first home run of his career. Grounder up the middle. Easy play for Electra, the shortstop. Two down. Brings up. Hits. He's DHing today. Went over four last episode, so he's tense, hitting 417. Two homers, seven RBIs. Three O. Check the knees. Three and one. Liner to the left, right at Electro though, and that's a one-two three inning for Sweet. To the second. 3-0 the score. Benicio, Fielder, and Electro. Bottom three in the lineup to appear against Fuss. Benicio comes in hitting 148 with an RBI on the season. Comes over from the Moonstars organization. Signed in free agency. And he singles up the middle. A good base hit. Fourth hit today for the Sawteeth already. Lead off man on. Here's the eight hitter, Ian Fielder, the third baseman. He's tense right now, hitting 242. One homer, four RBIs, comes over from the Grapplers organization. Throw down on the first pitch is in time to nail the runner, as that's a good throw down by Ho, who's now locked in. For Vinicio, where is he? That was his second stolen base attempt of the year. He's now one for two. One of the count here on Fielder. Salmon dives to his left, makes the stop. Great play, two down. He's at the nine hitter, shortstop Eduardo Electro, also comes over from the Grapplers organization. Teammates with Fielder, hitting 313. No homers or RBIs yet. Coy leaps, can't get there. That's going to be into the corner there in right field. Bayless gets it in as Electro's going for second. Throw in is just dropped by Reliable, and that's going to be a double for Electro. Keeps hitting alive for Trips, who's 0 for 1. Sky ball to left center. Jennings in. Makes the catch and that retires the side here as Fuss has a scoreless inning. Bottom two, it's still three to nothing. Jennings, Velos, and Burnside do up against Sweet. Here's Jennings hitting 432. Two hits last episode. Four homers, nine RBIs on the season. Great 
Curveball up. Gets a pretty good piece of it deep to left center field, but wrong part of the park to hit it to. Samson runs it down. One down. Bring up Thalos. Hitless last episode, hitting 342. Two homers, six RBIs. Fastball down the middle. Velos rips it hard to left center field. But Trips runs it down in front of the wall. Two down. There's Burnside. Hitting 269. Through its last episode. Curveball grounded softly to short. Easy play for Electro. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for Sweet as he's now tense. To the third we go. It's still 3 to nothing. Stokes, Painter, and Strauss do up. Ladder to right center field for Stokes. That's going to split the gap as Jennings gives chase. It bounces off the wall, and that'll be a leadoff double here for the Saw Teeth. There's a painter, single to first time up. Ladder up the middle, that's another base hit. Jennings gets it in, runners at first and third here with none down, and here's Strauss. Hit new fielder's choice her last time up. She's 0 for 1. Might be the first on the hit and run, and that's going to be a double play as McCoy was standing right there holding the runner. Two down now. Runner still at third for McGee, who homered his first time up. He's one for one today and locked in. Woody leaps is just out of his reach, and that's a base hit for McGee. That drives in his fourth run today as he's now two for two, four nothing saw teeth. Here's Sampson. Nice dive by Reliable in the grass, and that ends the inning. Let the Sawteeth get a fourth run off the bat of Sting McGee as he single hits a two-out single, and it's now 4 nothing the score. Bottom three, bottom three in the lineup do up here. Ho, McCoy, and Salmon look to break through against Sweet. Started perfect, 6 for 6. Here's Ho, two hits last episode, hitting 217. One RBI in the season for the catcher as he's locked in after throwing out a base runner. Sweet also locked in after a perfect start to their first two innings. Three ups and three downs. Two on the count to help. Make it two and two. Basketball down, line to center field, and that's a base hit for Ho. Third hit in his last five at bats. Gotta bring up the rookie first baseman, Handy McCoy, hitting one for six on the year. One solo homer to his credit. I believe it's his only hit. Let me check that actually. Where is McCoy? Yep, one for six. Fastball down, lined up the middle, and that's base hit for McCoy. First two batters on here in the third. As there's none down here for the nine hitter, Cole Salmon. Second baseman is hitting buck 20 on the year with a homer, three RBIs. Not exactly great numbers, especially for a rookie, but he uh, is having major growing pains this year. Grounded to first. This will be a double play. One, six, three, six, one. Grounded to third with two down now for Woody, who's 0 for 1. Liner to second right at Benicio, and that ends the inning. Rebooters get two hits, but a double play and a line out, and the threat to the fourth. Benicio, Fielder, and Electro do up. Benicio one for one today with a single. He was then thrown out trying to steal second base, which is why he's tense.
Round to the third. Woody will make a nice play. One down. That's a 1 2 3 inning for Fuss, his first today as he gets through the inning cleanly. Bottom four. Reliable Pitts and Jennings do up here against Sweet, looking to break through. Reliable for one today. Slider down, ripped hard to left field. That's a base hit. Lead off man on here for the second straight inning for the Freebooters. Let's see if our luck turns around. Here's Pitts, 0 for 1. It's under a fastball, hits pretty well to left, but he got under it. He's played for trips, one down. Fastball down and in, Jennings hits it well, deep to left center field. Trips runs it down at the warning track, two down. Thalos lined out the left fielder first time up. She's 0 for 1. Got to decide to swing sooner. Good pitch. 1 and 2. Dribbler to second, Benicio makes the stop, and that's uh, going to end the inning. Freebooters get the leadoff hitter on, but can't get him past first base. To the fifth, it's four to nothing. Trips, Stokes, and Painter to appear against Fuss. He's given up eight hits so far through four innings of work. One a three-run homer, and an RBS single are his only strikes against him. Here's Burns. It's a fly ball to left. Burns side does make the catch. One down. Stokes is two for two today. He's also scored twice today. Doubled and singled. Lines that to right center field, but Jennings will run that down. Two down. Here's Painter, two for two with two singles. Hard ground at the first, but it's another 1 2 3 inning for Fuss, the second in a row. Starting to come around now as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Still 4 to nothing. Burnside, Ho, and McCoy do up here against Sweet. Burnside over 1 today after flying out his first time up. Pops it up, shallow right center. Benicio out. He'll make the catch. 1 down. Ho, one for one with the single. Curve ball ripped the right field. He went with it, but it's right at Stokes. Two down. Sending a lot of deja vu from that moose game. Here's McCoy, one for one with the single. Spider down. That's a base hit for McCoy. He's now two for two. Rookie first baseman starting to hit well. There's Salmon 0 for 1. And he'll pop that up. Shallow left field and on it trips. 
Left fielder makes the catch, and that ends the inning once again as we get another hit, but do nothing with it. To the sixth, it's four to nothing. Strauss, McGee, and Samson do up. Strauss over two. Chase the two-seamer away. First punch out today for Fuss. Took him all the way to the first out in the sixth inning to get it. And that'll bring up McGee. He's had a three-run homer and an RBI single. He has scored all four runs for the Salty today. He is two for two. And he went yard again. That's his second of the game. Fifth of the year. It is now 5 nothing Salty as McGee is having. Well, it's his third year. Homer of the year. I'm giving him too much credit. Doesn't matter. He's having a game. Here's Sampson. Pop it up, shallow right. Sam and out, makes the catch, two down. Lucio, one for two today with a single, and then he was thrown out trying to steal second base. Down to the thirst, easy play from McCoy. It's gonna end the inning as Fuss does a good job bouncing back after the home run, but Sting McGee. That's all right. I didn't announce it. I figured I might as well catch up since I missed a few days here. Uh, five nothing to score. McGee is killing us today. Bottom five or six. Here's Woody over for two. Her ball hangs and it's a base hit up the middle for Woody. There we go, Christopher. Maybe that'll start a rally. Here's Reliable. One for two today with the single. And Reliable lines that in the left field corner. That'll be extra bases. Trips gives chase. Throw coming in. Go into second. Reliable beats it anyway. It's a double to put second and third with none down for Pitts. 0 for 2 today. 0 for his last six at bats as well as Sweet is no longer locked in. Curveball hangs. Line to center field. Runner tags. Uh, Samson's got a good arm, so we're going to hold as Pitts is now 0 for his last seven. Here's Jennings 0 for 2. Flew out to left center field twice today. That's, I don't think that's a strike, but all right. There we go. Fastball up. Poked it to left center field. That's a no man's land, and it will drop for a base hit. Second runner trying to score. Reliable does. It's two RBI single for Jennings. It's now 5 to 2. There's Velos 0 for 2. Two on the count now from Sweet. Check swing high, good take by Velos. 3 and 1. Full count now. Hanging curveball, Velos hits it pretty well. Deep to center field. Did not get the carry, though, as it dies on the warning track. Two down. Just a bit under it. Here's Burnside, 0 for 2 today. Fastball up, line to center field, but it's right at Sampson, and that will end the inning. But the freebooters are on the board with a 2 RBI single by Nico Jennings, the center fielder. To the 7th, it's now 5 to 2. Fielder, Electro, and Trips to appear against. Uh, one of our relievers as Fuss is done here after six innings of work, giving up nine hits, two home runs, uh, RBI single, one strikeout, and he threw almost 90 pitches. So, yeah, not a great start for Fuss, but it could have been a lot worse, honestly. Five runs is not horrible. Coming out of the bullpen is going to be right-hander rookie Rohan Sherman. Sherman making his fifth appearance of the year. He has no record, a 4-2-6 ERA and a 1-2-6 whip. Three earned runs given up in his four appearances, totaling six and a third innings. Eight hits given up, four strikeouts recorded, with one hit being a home run. 
that damage against is 308, which is actually the best out of our bullpen. We'll face Fielder, Electro, and then Trips as he blows a fastball by him on the first pitch. And it fools him with the curve. Gate I act for Sherman. Hits it over the diving reliable's glove, and that's a base hit. First hit today for Fielder. He's a one for three. There's Electro. Liner to first. McCoy will tap the bag. That's a double play as he was holding the runner. Second time today, McCoy's done that. And here's Trips, 0 for 3. Good take by Trips. That's a six pitch walk. Keeps the inning alive for Stokes. Two for three today. Runner goes on the second pitch. Throwdown is just late. Good effort by Ho, but you are not getting slashed. Trips is one of the fastest base runners in the game. Trips now a perfect five for five on the season. Stokes will foul that off. One and two, the count now. Soft ground to the first. McCoy takes it to the bag himself, and that ends the inning as Sherman gets through it scoreless. Bottom seven, five two, still the score. Oh, McCoy and Salmon do up here against Sweet. Oh, one for two today with a single. Curveball down, and he jumps on that one. Hits it pretty deep to left center field. Off the wall above Trips' head. That'll be a base hit for Ho. As it went right to Trips off the wall. Lead off man on here. And here's McCoy. Rookie's 2 for 2 today with two singles. Ooh, good pitch. Caught the corner. Fastball up. McCoy gets under it. Hits it pretty deep to the right field corner. Can that get to the wall? Yes, it does. It's in the second row. McCoy with his second homer of the season. And that makes it a 5-4 to four game as we're right back in it. Rookie sliced it away, cutting it down the line, kept it just fair. He's now 3 for 3 today. And we go from 3 to 3 to 0 for 2, soon to be 0 for 3, as it's second baseman Cole Salmon, who is tense. As well as Sweet. So maybe she'll hang him one. Maybe. Maybe. 3 0 to Salmon. Hung him a curveball, and he finally got a fucking hit. There you go, Cole. Tying run on base here. Still nobody out, and he's no longer tense. Here's Woody. Sweet staying out there. Sawteeth have no faith in their bullpen here. Pokes it through the right side. Another base hit for Woody. First and second now, still nobody out, as that is. Yeah, four straight hits here to start the inning. Here's Reliable. And Sweet will finally exit here after six-plus innings of work, giving up four earned runs, responsible for the two runners on base. Uh, coming into pitch is right-hander Hugh Jacobs. Interesting choice. Uh, there are Jacobs' numbers on the year. He's 0-1 with a 4.15 ERA and a 2.08 whip. Two in runs given up in his three appearances. Four and a third innings total pitched. Six hits surrendered. Three walks and striking out two. Batting average against his 316. I'm surprised. They could have gone to Maverick McMahon, unless he's tired. Then you also have Libby Doe, who's a better option than Jacobs. He's got youth on his side. That's about it. Sweet uh, exits after giving up 11 hits. And I believe she walked a batter, but I'm not sure. I don't think she did. With the right-hander in the game now, Reliable gets his power versus right-hander active, and he still has low pitch and is still locked in. Just low. Just high. Curveball down, ripped up the middle, and that's a base hit, and that'll load the bases here with nobody out. Go ahead, run it 
uh, at second, tying run at third. Here's Pitts, base is loaded. He's 0 for 3 in tenths. 0 for his last seven. He's due. Come on, Stump. You're our best hitter for a reason, kid. Intimidate him with your status. Or ground into a double play. That's also always an option, but it will tie the game. There's Jennings. Singled in on two runs his last time up. He's one for three. Ladder down. That's a base hit for Jennings. He'll give us the lead with a two-out single. Good hit, Nico. 6-5 the score. So our freebooters have the lead. Six runs in the inning. There's Velo, or four runs in the inning. Velo's 0 for 3. Velo's gets under the high fastball, hits a pretty deep left center field. It should end the inning. Samson makes a catch, and it does. Freebooters, though, four runs in the inning as they take the lead. 6 5 the score to the eighth. Painter, Strauss, and McGee, middle of the lineup due up here against Sherman. Painter 2 for 3 today with two singles. Base hit up the middle for Painter as she puts the tying run on here with none down. Set up the four hitter Strauss. Grounded up the middle. Salmon knocks it down. And it's going to get an out at first at least. So no error will be charged to Salmon, though he should have turned two. Here's McGee. Three for three. Three run homer. Solo homer. RBI single. He's driven on all five runs. This is the guy they want up. Just laid on the heat, one on one. Three one pitch to McGee. Curveball in the dirt bounces, and that's a five pitch walk. Honestly, not mad about the walk there. That's a good choice. Here's Samson 0 for 3. Speedster's pretty hard to double up, but he is hitless today, so maybe we can get him out. Ooh, good curve. Over 30 pitches now. Curve ball past the diving McCoy into right field. That's going to load the bases. Still one down. And that'll bring up Vinicio. One for three with a single. He has RBI man. Still tense. Sherman is done here after an inning and a third. So he is struggling. And he is over 30 pitches. I'm not pushing my luck. Coming out of the bullpen is our best reliever, Maxton Bates, the right hander. Bates making his fifth appearance of the year. He is one and one with a 5 6 3 ERA and five earned runs given up. 163 whip in those four appearances. He's given a pitched a total of eight innings, giving up 13 hits, three of them homers. He's also struck out two. Batting average against is 382 on the year. We need him to show up right here, right now. Got him to swing over a fork ball in the first pitch. Inside change, it misses, one and one. Fastball's inside, two and one. Curveball check swing at the knees, two and two. Strike three on the ch fastball. Bates gets the punch out, two down. There's Fielder, one for three with the single. Dribbler knocked down by Bates. Fielder doesn't run well. He recovers in time, and he gets out of the bases loaded jam. Maxton Bates gets the two batters we need. Bottom eight, it's still six to five. Freebooters, Burnside, Ho, and McCoy do up against Jacobs. Great pitching from Bates. That's guts right there. Burnside over three today, not hitting well. 
have anybody who can play outfield? I mean, Freeman can play outfield. Do I want to do that, though? I don't think so. Can anybody else play left field? Reliable can play left field. We can bring a Fordo in to play short. Uh, okay. We can do that. Freeman's going to pinch hit here. That's a high ball one. Freeman hitting uh, 182 on the air with a homer and two RBIs. That takes that low, 2-0. Oh. Fastball up, and that's a base hit for Freeman. Pinch hitter comes through. Get off man on here in the eighth as we look for some insurance runs. <laughs> Max debates. He's the definition of clutch sometimes. Here's Ho. Two for three, two singles. Still locked in. Fastball hard through the left side of the infield base. Hit for Ho. First and second now with none down. Here's McCoy. Three for three today. Two run homers last time up. He's also singled twice. Locked in at the plate. Rookie is feeling it. That's a liner up the middle. That's another base hit. Base is loaded now as McCoy's four for four. Talk about coming alive when you need him. Here's Salmon, one for three with a single last time up. No longer tense. Let's see if he comes through with the RBI chance. Jacobs tense here. Hangs a curveball as it's popped up. Shallow left center field in the no man's land, but Electro runs it down. And that is good old Cole Salmon for you. Here's Woody. Two for four, two singles. Base is infield in here. Hanging curveball lined up the middle. That's a base hit. That'll score one as Sampson has a cannon, so we'll hold. Seven to five. RBI for Woody. There's Reliable. Three for four. Double two singles. Looking to break the game open here as Jacobs is tense. Good fastball high. I'm looking low here with Reliable. That's his forte. Low pitching. Chase to blow the knees, but it gets through for a base hit. That's going to score at least one. Here comes the second runner as well. Sampson cannon. Fire. But he's late on it. It's a two RBI single for Reliable. 9-5. That's insurance. Here's Pitt. So for four. Jacobs is done. Coming out of the bullpen is left right-hander Maverick McMahon, the former Sandcats reliever. Surprised they didn't go to him first, but all right. McMahon, oh for, uh, no record. 4-7-6 ERA and a 2-1-2 whip. Three and runs given up in four appearances, totaling five and two-thirds innings. Nine hits given up. Three walks, and he struck out five. Batting average against is 346, which is actually the worst out of their bullpen right now. Here's Pitts, our best hitter. Grounded into the double play his last time up, but it did tie the game up as a run scored. One and one slider inside from McMahon. Curveball caught the knees, one and two. Tough out activates for Pitts. Curveball bounces, two and two. Curveball down and in. That's a base hit for Pitts, and that's his first hit at nine and bats. Base is loaded again as Sampson has got an arm. We're not running. Here's Jennings, two for four, two singles, and he's driven in three runs. Probably a single last time up. Ooh, good fastball at the letters, 0-1. Good curveball, caught the corner. I can't do anything with those. McMahon gets the punch out. Two down, and here's Velos, 0 for four. Off line to the third, one hopper to fielder. He'll retire Velos, and that ends the inning. Three bitters, though, strike for another three runs as they give the insurance they needed for Bates. Nine to five, the score to the ninth. Electro trips and Stokes do up. Here's Electro, one for three with a double. Uh, Freeman is going to move. Freeman is going to exit here as Reliable is going to move to left, and Afordo is going to come off the bench and play shortstop. Pinch hitter did his job. Dribbler third. That should be an easy play for Woody. One down. There's Trips over three with a walk. Lines that to left field, and Reliable is going to give chase to that in the corner. Plays the ricochet well as Trips is going to test him, but he'll beat it anyway. It's a double here for Trips. Now to bring up Stokes, two for four.
Liner to right center. Jennings in on to make the catch. Two down. Trips will remain at second. Last chance here is Painter, who is three for four with three singles and is locked in. Grounded to second, right at Salmon. Makes the play, and that ends the game as the Freebooters rally to win 9-5, to five, your final. As we score nine runs in the final three at-bats that we had in the game to overcome a five-run deficit. Whew, very go from a game with little to no offense to a game with plenty of offense. As we have a combined, uh, ooh, 32 hits. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. 14 combined runs, too. Thank you, thank you. We tried. <laughs> Looking at the uh, box scores here, uh, Sawteeth had everyone get a hit except their catcher, Strauss. Uh, McGee was their player of the game. He went 3-for-3 three three at a, a walk, two homers, a single, drove in five runs. He drove in all their runs. Everyone else got at least one hit except for Stokes, who got two, and Painter got three. On the other side, everyone in our lineup got a hit except Thalos and Burnside and Forto. We didn't get to bat. Freeman, the pinch hitter, got a base hit. Uh, three hit day for Ho. Uh, McCoy had the four hit day, drove in two on a homer. Uh, Salmon finally got a hit. <laughs> Jennings drove in three on two hits. Uh, Reliable drove in two on four hits. And Woody drove in one on three hits. And Pitts finally broke his hitless streak. <laughs> Pitching lines, uh, sweet six innings, 11 hits, six earned runs, one homer. She takes the loss, falls to 0-2. Jacobs an inning and a third out of the pen, giving up seven hits and three runs. And McMahon gets the last two outs, giving up a hit and a strikeout. On our side, Fuss, six innings, nine hits, five earned runs, two homers, one strikeout. Not his best outing, but he gets a no decision. Sherman gets the win, the rookie, his first career win in the league. Uh, three hits, two walks. And Maxton Bates gets his first save of the season as he goes an inning and two-thirds, giving up a hit and striking out one. Player of the game, Stig McGee, 5 RBI day. I can't argue with that. Followed by McCoy, who was perfect 4 for 4 with 2 RBIs on his second homer of the year. Booyah, Rook. And Reliable with a 4 hit day is the 3rd place finisher driving in 2 runs of his own. Not bad at all. Nice. Alright. And with that win, we bounce back to 500 on the year as we improve to 5-5. Five and five. And we knock the soft teeth down to 4-6, and six, which means we pass them in the race for the playoffs. We are now sitting in the last play, well, tied for the last playoff spot with the Blowfish, who would win with the tiebreaker, unfortunately, due to run differential, even though we beat them. Dang, are all these games over here? Yeah, all eight of these games are on the other side. Okay, so no games were played on our half. So right now we sit three games behind the Moose. Uh, we got six games left to play, so we're in a good spot. We just need to get that run differential up. If we can do that, we can make the playoffs. We need a positive run differential, though. All right, our next game is against the last place Wild Pigs, who come into the game 3-6. and six. They will be sending veteran right-hander Durbin Holmes to the hill, who's 0-1 with a 1350 ERA and a 177 whip. And we will send veteran pitcher Raul Strikes to the hill as we come in at 5-5. Five and five. He is 1-0 and oh with a 491 ERA and a 2 whip. Strikes did take the win his last start. McCoy loses 4 contact, despite having one of the greatest hitting performances we've had all season. Bummer. Candela goes to the Wild Pigs, replacing Patience Evergreen as they're cutting some cap here, it looks like. Alright, that's it. Alright, so for these um, options of... Ooh. ooh, this is some good ones. Okay. Well, Noel, we're not doing we're not doing pits, so knock those two out. I want to get this one for Freeman and this one for Bates. I don't think I can do both. Bates' is only 1%, so we get Freeman's now, and we save. We'll get Bates' next time. We're not going to do this one for Strikes, although it is a good option for him. Um, strikes is 32, so he's not in our club's long-term plans. Not like Bates, not like Freeman, not like Woody. Those are the three we're looking to do here. So this one for Freeman first. We're going to get the three contact. That's great. And we're going to get the four fielding. All right, so both low rolls, but that's all right, because it gets a little bit better. We like that. 
and we do still have enough to get this one for baits but I'm gonna get it next time because it will still be here this one for Woody should still be here as well so we can get both of these and improve two more young players next episode perfect all right let's set the lineup here call it a day all right I see some orange and I see some some white so a little bit even here in terms of who sucks and who doesn't <laughs> Ho stays in the lineup as the catcher is locked in. I am okay with that. Brown's still healing there on the bench, so he'll be back the game afterwards. Uh, Pitts, DHing in second hole. He is tens, but that's all right. He did get a hit, though, so he's trending in the right direction. Reliable locked in with a four-hit day, so he'll bat third. Jennings will bat fourth. Uh, then it's Woody. Then it's McCoy, who's locked in. He'll stay at the game in first base. I mean, he went four for four, and he homered, so might as well let him in. Thanks, Lawai. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I uh, I agree. Very underrated. <laughs> it judges by the views and whatnot. But uh, hey, I reached 5,000 views on YouTube, so trending in the right direction. Only took me uh, about 10 years. Velos bats seventh, and it's Paul Bean in left. He comes off the bench as he's finally fixed his mojo. And Salmon, our ever unreliable second baseman, will bat last. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for this episode, guys, as we managed to pull off another come-from-behind victory to pull back to 500 on the year. Six games left to play, all in the division. Now's the time to start winning and make our first playoff appearance in this series, because, as you know, if we don't make it, we're done. <laughs> Until next time, guys, this is The Nasty One, signing off. Also, FYI, we are not doing another episode. Just want to clear that. We just, we're just doing the two tonight.